Good afternoon. The First Minister will give a speech shortly outlining how Theresa May's Brexit deal will be damaging for Scotland. Nicola Sturgeon will say Scots could be up to £1,600 a year worse off when the UK leaves the EU. In a statement at Butte House, she'll outline the Scottish Government analysis on how Brexit will affect jobs and investment in Scotland's economy. A woman has died and her daughter is in hospital after a hill-walking incident in the Highlands. The Glencoe Mountain Rescue Team and a helicopter were called out yesterday morning following reports of concern for a woman on a path in the Glencoe area. During the search operation, the body of a 52-year-old woman was found a short distance away. Her daughter was airlifted to hospital in Fort William and is said to be in a stable condition. Calls for a moratorium on new salmon farms in Scottish waters have been rejected by MSPs. Concerns have been raised about the impact of the sector on wild salmon populations. Holyrood's Rural Economy Committee says the status quo is not acceptable and has made recommendations for improvement. More than half of Scotland's health boards are missing waiting time targets for bowel cancer tests. Figures show more than 5,000 patients referred for a colonoscopy are waiting longer than the Scottish Government's six-week goal. Kenny Stitt was due to have his final colonoscopy last November. A year on, he says he's still waiting. I was just basically told, you know, it can be a year to 16 months till I get it. And, you know, and, and in that time, I think I could have been one of the numbers off their cancer list. And you get a bit anxious if anything happens in between that time. The Scottish Government is launching its festive anti-drink drive campaign in Edinburgh today. This year's message is the best approach is none when it comes to drinking and driving. Research shows Scots believe the top consequences of a drink drive conviction are losing their licence or a criminal record. Get a designated driver to use public transport to enjoy yourself without the risk. Why take it? It's simply not worth it. We'll have officers right across Scotland out over the next month or so targeting drink driving. Last year we caught 567 people in the run-up to Christmas. That's 567 people that now have a criminal record and lost their licence. It's not worth it. Now here's Laura with the weather. Bringing you sunshine. TUI sponsors STV Weather. Hello to you, I'm afraid we've got some pretty nasty wet and windy weather on the way. You can see here in the southwest this huge band of rain being pushed steadily northwards. Temperatures at the moment around 6-7 degrees, but it's the wind that we're really paying attention to. As we move into this evening, it's really starting to build. Those showers really coming up, covering most of the north. The wind picking up over Shetlands and Orkney too. In tonight, a small gap just before dawn when that heavy wind and rain returns. Temperatures around 4 degrees. But again, look at the wind starting to build, particularly over Orkney and Shetland. We've got a yellow warning in place there tomorrow. Yellow warning on the west too. Bye-bye. Bringing you sunshine. TUI sponsors STV Weather. That's all for now. Norman will be here at 6. Until then, have a good afternoon. Goodbye.